but um, we'll have a look at what the table looks like in, in real time in a moment or two. Wathoka Thoka. Chick. Oh, beautiful to Hodgson. And Newcastle all of a sudden loving life in the East Midlands. Ferns. Hodgson to Basham. Nordley Kalametti. And Davison. Lays it back and Tate and brilliant and Muller Pola. What a Newcastle up to here and here goes Chick. It's been wonderful stuff to get this close. Hodgson lining up away on the right hand side. Radwan might score on his own and Falcons are making this very interesting. This is bonkers. It's gone silent here at the Gardens. They need their team to kick back into the life. Brilliant here from Jamie Blamire because the ball's out and no one spots it, but all starts with lovely bit of interplay. Hodgson on the end of it. And then they just keep it alive. Ferns in there, switches hands, pulls it back. Lovely offload out the back door by Blamire. Tate back on the inside. Somehow Mullapola manages to hold on to it. And then it looks like, because there's no nine there, they're going to butcher the chance, but Lemire realises, spins it out, and then once it's in Radwan's hands, one-on-one, -on -one, that far out, you're always back him, and he gets past no issues, Dan Bigger. Yeah, well, where's this coming from? They're suddenly looking for width, they're looking for space, and they're scoring beauties. This to pull them. To within 10. What's it like? What's it like? It looks lovely. That is a wonderful kick. Still over a quarter of the match to go. Northampton 36, Newcastle 26. The difference now is they're just finding outside shoulders, finding little gaps, being able to offload through tackles rather than running into those big, solid Northampton defend defenders. So, as it stands, well, you can see for yourself as um, we follow the ball on the pitch, it's still Northampton in fourth, still Gloucester in fifth, but it's just got a little bit more complicated all of a sudden, particularly with Newcastle in rampant form. Will Hayden Wood sprinting over the 10-metre line. They'll know what's going on down at King's home. Oh, it's... Stuart Terridge has picked up the neck grab and Saints with a much needed penalty and they're off their feet in front of us Ben they know how important this is first thing that's gone against Newcastle for about 10 minutes isn't it and just Courtney Laws does well to get back to his feet and Robinson just has to use his body weight to roll Laws off the ball Northampton change at hooker, Mike Hayward on to replace Sam Matavesi and Hayward straight into it with the line-out for it. Looking at the difference, first half, second half, total opposite in terms of getting into that red zone and what you do with it. Newcastle could barely score in the first, really making up for it now. More scores at Sandy Park, which we'll hear about in a moment, but um, here, more importantly, Northampton looking to rebalance still a 10-point lead but they did have a 29-point lead and now they're bursting through and this is Augustus clipped away bigger try for Hutchinson and a roar of relief almost around these parts some balance has been it's rediscovered by Northampton. Well, there's some scattered bodies out there now, but a huge sigh of relief from the home crowd. Augustus with that instant impact. Brilliant carry, so well chopped down by Tate. But then manages to keep it alive and that sweep around. Hutchinson. Lovely little bust and fend, brilliant tackle, keeps it up, and then they've got three players in the outside with one sweeping late. We're going to have a look at what's happening to what happened to Dan Bigger there, mate. Yeah, just put it on them, we're not doing any inform way, let's have a look. No. Just going to run it, okay, so you can have a look. 
So, what happened to Dan Bigger after he'd released the pass? Stuart Terridge wants to have another look. Ooh, it's uh, Sean Robinson coming in. Can you see that car? It's head to head, isn't it? Robinson, a little bit upright, never bends. Doesn't really try to make the tackle, but because he's running at such speed, there is a head, head on head collision there. So what I'm going to show you, mate, is as the ball's passed, the tackler comes in, he's high, so we've got a head-on-head -head collision. OK, yep. so we, have head -on, we do have head-on-head? Yeah. OK. He's high, because he, he's thinking he's not going to make the tackle, but because he gets so close, maybe Radwan stepping in as well actually adds to the problems. Okay, so we've got a lot of speed and force in that, now we need to slow it down and get to the contact point, please. So is that reckless? What do you reckon, Emily? It's careless, Here isn't it? Call, mate. Okay. Um, so. Definitely careless. As Ben says, he doesn't look like he's trying to make the tackle, he just can't slow his feet down, but by the letter of the law, that is head See. on head. So is, 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 are we looking at most of the force going through the chest? Be down to his speed. Because he's yes, travelling at such speed, at they'll say that contact, constitutes danger and shoulder, it's reckless. And then the, second, the head is the second reaction. They're trying to... Can we get that freeze frame just so we can yeah, get that okay. contact point? So look, as, you, as you've got Dan Biggers about to release the pass, yeah. Yeah, he's obviously turned, but the lad's coming in at speed yeah. and he's always upright. Yeah, yeah. He's always high. He's always high, he's always upright, he's reaching in, yeah. OK, so we have got direct head-on-head -head contact. Just roll it in full speed one more time, just so we can get that level of danger. Yeah, OK. He's, he's sprinting into it, isn't he? Okay. So, yeah, I think for me, I'm looking at direct head on head. High degree of danger because it's at force, clear line of sight, yeah. and going straight in it, and he's I'm not looking at any mitigation. OK, so we're, we're talking a red card then, aren't we? Sean Robinson's okay, already so, heading off for a head injury assessment, but... Um, it won't be because it was in the field of play, not after the trial was scored. The heading okay, off is so, going to be made permanent uh, by this red card. He, he's uh, already gone. And he's gone okay. HIA, so, so I, I wouldn't, quite, quite I wouldn't bring him back to okay, red card. So, Listen, head on head, I do really dangerous to come across the field, always high at speed with a clear line of sight. There's a high degree of danger, no mitigation, so you know we're at red card. First red card that Sean Robinson's ever been shown in his career. Yeah, I know he's already left. And that's, uh, it's a sad end to his season. See Carl Ferns there as well, he's left the field after that try was scored, so it looked like another injury limped off. Yeah, he's, had a, he's had a wretched season with injuries, Carl Ferns. Yeah, so Lewis Liner brought the score level at one point back for Harlequins and then just before Exeter regained the lead through Jack Knoll taking the lead again at Sandy Park. Quinn's defensive line just got so okay. short, able to spin out of it. It's an absolute walking for Jack Knoll, whose toes don't even cross the dry line. Okay, okay. Uh, at the moment, Exeter are going to uh, finish the season in seventh and this the applause for Afi Ratuni Uawa at the end of his Gardens career. Challenge for the ball in mid-air. Hutchinson and Chick both get to their feet, both acknowledge each other, make sure both is OK, both are. Molopola lead a 15.1 again, and the replacement has been replaced. Merrick on for Ferns. Kelametti, Hodgson, Tate. This is uh, Mami Yogan, who's uh, joined us recently. Peterson and uh, Connor Kenny on his Newcastle debut. From a Connick man. Oh, Hodgson has stolen a march. Hodgson on his way, and he's dragged down by a determined Courtney Laws. Radwan screaming for it on this right hand side. Wathoka Thoka. 
twisting through himself. Calametti doesn't use Chick, does use Basham. Oh, and Saints have stolen it back. Augustus releases Hutchinson and Hayward. David Ribbons was calling for it. Ludlam beyond the Jogan to Hutchinson and Bigger and Coles and Furbank. And they've got some space on the right hand side. And Freeman has some speed, sprinting to the line. Radwan coming across. And even Adam Radwan, not quick enough. And Tommy Freeman scores the try. And even Tom Wood now might be thinking that surely that's enough. Does that try sum up Northampton Saints this season? Look like they're on the ropes defensively. Newcastle at full flight, they make an error and suddenly Saints just tear them apart. There's the error, it's a strip actually from Eogan. And then just find the space, that's all Saints do, find the space. Brilliant passing, no issues including from Coles in that outside centre position and then They've got the pace on the outside, and as you said, despite Radwan corner flagging across, he's just not got enough. Well, whatever you say about some of their defence this year, they have been one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting team to watch at times, Northampton. And they've got a seventh. There's been another try at Welford Road as the conversion slides across. So, Emily. Yeah, Leicester Tigers have scored their second try of the afternoon. It's a late switch of play from George Ford. After this carries, they come back round the corner, just switches the play late. Hits Moroni. Moroni right out to Stewart, and Stewart diving in, in the corner for Leicester okay. Tigers' second try of the afternoon. Saracens uh, heading towards defeat at King's Home means that first and second isn't a conversation point anymore. Leicester will finish top Saracen second but that game still very much alive for Wasps who have to win if they want to overhaul London Irish in the last remaining place for a Champions Cup spot meantime Hutchinson Saints loving life again Hutchinson brilliantly almost up to the 10 meter line Tate came up to steal a march and then he was over the ball as well quickly but not quite quickly enough uh, Tom James Proctor. Oh, and Proctor's given it away, and this is James looking for some support, which eventually turned up with Proctor again. He gets it off the floor, he finds Augustus, and Northampton are putting on a party. Circus mode in the gardens. It just seems so easy again, doesn't it? They had that patch in the middle where nothing was going right for them and now everything going right is there a foot in touch here not quite does he get the offload away before well it stays in touch anyway oh does it hang on uh, that uh, that bang on that back heel yeah. touch no try no, not Time quite. Off, play down. Time's off. Augustus Time's back off. from injury to uh, to try to influence things at the end of the season. Time's off. Play Looking down. increasingly as if he'll be part of the playoffs next weekend. He's proved his worth this season, yeah, hasn't he? Good. Arriving from the storm has been a very good signing. Time back on. Jamie Blamire over the top into um, a tumbling Callum Chick. 15 minutes to go. Yeah, all in front hole. All Saints in front hole. 20 points up, surely now enough. Despite the scare that Newcastle gave them midway through this half. Bigger, Skosen accelerating. Hutchinson back inside. On the bounce to James and Ribbons. A red wedge knocking him sideways and backwards, and it's gone loose, and quickly it onto it was George Merrick. But uh, Saint Scrum. Forward. Green ball, rip forward by Red. Okay. Full green. 
That's um, Brendan Nansen who comes on. Um, and the applause for Alex Coles and a reminder of uh, where we are right now. At the moment, it'll be uh, Leicester, Northampton and Saracens, Quinns in the playoffs. Exeter and London Irish in the Champions Cup next season. Wasps into the Challenge Cup. Crouch! Um, and Bath Fine. back at the bottom of the table. Set into these games. Stay. Right. Go. Go, go, go. What's the leading at six ways? I think Emily's going to take us there in a moment or two. Laws. Got that away to Hutchinson, but it uh, was lost forward. Just wait to see what Northampton decide to do before we um, go on a journey to Worcestershire with Emily. I don't think there'll be many surprises. This will be going into the corner. Yeah, there we go. Can we go to six ways, Emily? Yeah, Worcester in the lead down at six ways. Nothing too crazy about this try, unfortunately, but it's a brilliant charge down from Joe Batley. Just bides his, bides his time around that breakdown. Bath desperately trying to clear oh. from deep in their line and just gets his hands on it and is able to dive over the score. Proctor, Newcastle could finish bottom if uh, Newcastle get a couple of bonus points, but we're going to have to get within seven here, and at the moment... That... Oh, they might! Here they go again, and Blamaya up to halfway, and Skosen got back, but oh. off the offload to Matt Tate. What followed wasn't so good, but that might have been spectacular. And now here's Freeman, looking for a hat-trick, controls it brilliantly, gets his hat-trick. Saints absolutely never on playoff material. What did I say after the last try? So Saints, so Saints again. Allow the bus. Blamar does really, really well. He's got a long way to go, but he keeps it alive. His pass is perfect. The next one's not. Lovely little break. He's thinking, I can't go all the way. Look at the pace around me. So he does so well, holds it up. This is perfect. And then out the back door, straight into the hands. And then no one in behind, little chip ahead. Yeah, no issues. Cheers, mate, thank you. Oh, he gathers, yeah. Yeah, a nice little jug to be bought tonight in the bar. It's like seven style in the sunshine, isn't it? Both sides playing their part. Brilliant to see.